Uh, better before today, to, to, but uh, we had a bad day today. Uh, I think the guys were tired. They felt sorry for themselves. Defense did a nice job today. A couple turnovers, but I didn't like the way we responded. Same thing happened in the spring, and so I kind of don't evaluate it till see what happens the next day. We come back raw off and then see what they come back with, trying to build some leadership. But they've been pretty good all the way through. Just today was a, a down day. How can you tell the guys are feeling sorry? They didn't like getting yelled at. <laughs> you know, that way. Just, you know, at least they knew. They didn't come out with any juice and, uh, um, and so sometimes that happens. You gotta, and it's going to happen if you play 12 games, and uh, we got to find a way. Got to take care of the ball better. There was a couple turnovers, but um, um, the guys have been fighting. It's been a really good camp. It's it's, it's been a real good camp. Who do you expect to uh, among the players to kind of lead them out of that place if there is that sort of thing? Me. You know, like I told them today, I can only get you on the sideline. All right, the quarterback's got to take control. Casey got to be better. Chubba wasn't. Those two guys I got on today a little bit. They're the guy in the huddle that speaks for 10 other guys listen. So their conviction and everything else. So, um, but you're going to have those things. I say we got 12 games. I, I'd like to think we're going to, we could win them all, but you're going to have some, some bumps in the road and then you got to learn from what we did this spring. So I think all the guys, Travis has been, been a leader and we got some new faces. So, um, you know, but I like where we're heading overall. Is there a sense of what we might get turned or working back? Uh, that's just in the whatever the medical people say. I don't even, I don't even. I've been a head coach and don't ever. I didn't. I might have gone to Brown, but I didn't major in science, so I don't have. Any, I'm not making any doctors, uh, you know, decisions. I don't. You know, it's like I don't. It's football. You know, it's like hey, the, the the safety of our players is is number one. You know. Well, it's going to happen during the season. You're not going to have all five guys all the way through. So we're building some depth on that. So that's that's the positive with it. When somebody's out, same we had some got more guys nicked and they were tired, but at other positions. But yeah, with that when he's back, he's back and he'll be ready to go. And she's shown enough as a guy that's played before. So not worried about about him that way. Scott Scott the other day said it was Casey's job to lose. You can elaborate on that a little bit from your. Well, yeah, I mean, he's got experience. He's played, you know, at, at Texas, and he's done a really good job, you know. And then yesterday we gave Chubba a lot more reps. He did a good job, and I was a little disappointed he didn't come back better today. And then, uh, you know, you need two, and Logan's the third right now, and he's, he's gotten a lot better and, you know, got experience in this day, you know. Guys just get hurt, hurt more. The game's faster, and uh, you, know, you don't want anybody to get hurt, especially the quarterbacks. But... You know, that would be the way, you know, Casey's getting one rep. Chubb is getting a lot of, they're splitting the one reps and, uh, um, you know, in situations and things like that. Plays, I go by plays more than a lot of times. If they haven't had a rep on a play or needed it and made a miscue on one, that they'll get, they'll get it, uh, you know, the next day. How do you feel about the importance of Casey and Chubb taking reps with backs that you're going to be working with most often? The running backs? Yeah. I think it's more more the throw game than a run game, you know, on that part, which we've worked hard on those guys, and they've got tape from the summer and all the things they did with the routes, and each guy's a little bit different in, in some of the things when you throw into the back and, and who's who, same with the receivers. So um, I don't think anything with the handoffs or that, that has not been a problem. We've done a really good job of taking care of the ball in a run game so far. The part of practice that we saw, Ramirez Johnson, who spent a lot of time Guy. What kind of a role does he bring? Well, we just build the depth, so he can play both. You know, he knows running back really well, so we got a couple guys nicked, and so we want to say there, there's a chance that you can help us out there, and so he's doing both. So one day he'll handle, you know, the running back. The next day he'll go to the R and some of the different periods that way. And a great kid, it's, it's really kind of a, you know, he wants to play. And then we, we, we as I said, you're trying to build depth. The quarterback, how close? No, it's been really good till today, but you know, we hadn't really thrown a pick six and how you handle that and come back and you know, um, you know, which we didn't do, we weren't too bad, we went to another series, but uh, you know, it's just kind of, just it's an, it just evolves as it goes, it takes time, you know, it takes time with the things in the system. With this week, these three days, we put a lot of new stuff in, 
so they'll get a chance to see it and we'll go back over it uh, you know on the weekend. Hey, um, this is a broad question. You yep. don't know a lot about it. What, what makes a good two minute drill? Like what like perhaps you struggle a little bit with that part of your ride. What what do you feel like makes a good one that's consistently good in that season? Well practice people gotta know what they're doing, you know, and, and understand what the defense is giving you. Take it what they're gonna give you. You know, I think we've done a really pretty good job with it. Today was a before the half, which we hadn't run, and just trying to get a kickoff. You know, if you, if you don't get a good first play, a lot of times before the half, you're going to back off somewhat that way. Um, you know, knowing when to get out of bounds. Certain plays we have that are designed to get, get the ball out of bounds. You know, working, you know, some of the, some of the management things for the terminology and when you're going to clock it and at what time and things that way. So, yeah, we've done it uh, probably today was like the fourth day. We did it probably six times in the spring. So. And each quarterback gets a gets a rep of it. What, what, when a quarterback's really good at that, what, what are they what are they good at doing in that moment? Complete passes, you know, complete passes. The guys know and understanding. And we've been done a lot of situational things. Not only that, third down, the guys understand. Hey, the running backs got to know it's third and two. They got to know it's third and three. All right, understand. Hey, we want to get the first, and you want to try to break the run. All right, so that part. Same with the receivers at third and eight. You don't really adjust the routes as much, but it's just knowing where it is and what time it is. Hand in the ball to the official on two minute or anything like that. So all the things we kind of prep them with. You had, a, I think, an interview with the radio, um, and you had mentioned that you thought Chubba was more talented than anything. I think you said it was on the rugs, uh, that, you know, it was at Iowa. A lot of his, his skill set. Yeah, no, he can he can run, and he's he's a little bit bigger, and he's he doesn't have the experience Cates he has. He can throw it. He's gotten a lot better. I keep forgetting. I told him this yesterday. I forgot. He, I keep forgetting they only had five practices in the spring, you know. And he's now he's getting a lot. Of, and a lot of those were against the twos. It's different when he go from against the twos and he going against our one defense. So that's really helped him. So I seen him take a, a big jump that way. And same with Casey, but Chubba more because he didn't have that many reps in spring. How is uh, What's that? Teddy from Austin coming back, you know, after the Yeah, he's been really good. He's gotten, he's gotten better every day. You know, he's gotten better, you know. Uh, he got some work in the summer with some some team stuff that way that the guys did on their own. It helped him, you know, when you hear the play and then you gotta go ahead and execute it, but he's he's had a really good camp. Do you have a sense of uh pecking order running back or has Coach Apple White kind of presented that to you or Well today right now we got a few of them down uh, health wise, so no, we haven't, you know, we'll play, I'd like to play three, you know, that's kind of what we did the last couple of years at Pittsburgh where, you know, but, you know, it's a long season, Big Ten's physical conference, so we want to get them all worked that way, but we're running through all of them. I thought they had a really good scrimmage last last weekend and uh, have done done a lot of good things. What did uh, Rupert's versatility give you? I think I remember some Coach Beck and said, right, when you got here, you Yeah, I mean, he's a good football player, you know. Made a big catch of Michigan running down the sideline and I think in the fourth quarter on a wheel route, just some of the things that way. We worked him a lot in the summer with the quarterbacks to catch a route. So just being versatile, kind of like what we did with when I was with Philly, had Brian Westbrook was a really good pass receiver, you know, and, uh, you know, we can play him. We know we can know those running back. It's just, again, building depth and a receiving core. All good? Good. All right, great to see you guys. Take care.